Welcome back to the classroom. Come on in. No late pass required. Today, <laughs> we unfortunately come once again to the end of another season of Vox Machina with Season 2, Episode 12, titled The Hope Devourer. And now, obviously, we know this is the nickname for Umbrasil. And as such, kind of like what I thought we were going to see here, we're about to see... A whole lot of episodes centered around Umbrasil. Potentially even Vox Machina finding out that Ripley is involved. Um, and I just get the feeling like this is not going to go well at all. We're going to probably have some giant cliffhanger, which of course is going to make this even more of a problem because then we have to wait for a while. Now, if obviously previous um, happenings are to be believed. I would hope that we would get this about a year from now with season three. Um, I know that um, they like they like to work on these things while we are watching them, which is very nice. Um, so I guess we'll have to wait and see in that regard. But in last episode, we saw a lot of things happen. We saw Vax kind of accept his fate as the matron of ravens champion we saw we saw scanlan accepting his fate of becoming a father or being a father and not knowing about it but also feeling very very guilty that because of his doings he unfortunately wasn't there for his daughter when she actually needed him kind of left his mother or left her mother to uh, fight for scraps and whatnot. And we saw the party be able to catch Umbrasil slightly off guard and use unorthodox means to get inside of said dragon and cause some damage. And at this point, we're seeing Umbrasil taking off with Grog in tow and Vax and Scanlan inside of the dragon. Scanlan knocked unconscious last time we had seen him. I'm curious to see how they're going to end up doing this here, if it's going to be some epic fight or what's going to end up happening. I, I really don't have any idea here, but I already can tell I'm not ready for this episode. So there's only one way to take care of that. Make sure that you check the card up in the top right hand corner before you watch this video. And without further ado, season finale, season two of the Vo uh, the Legend of Vox Machina. Let's take on the Hope Devourer. Not the start I was expecting. What do we got here? And short halt who slayed the dreaded dragon Umbrasil. And Interesting. The from tyranny might are yet unspecific ways. <laughs> the end. Oh my goodness. Can you do it again, grandfather? Can you please? The dragon is so scary. So scary. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, through the ancient mines of Craghammer. Oh. Uh, wait. What? Wake up? Oh. I, uh, oh boy. Come on, man. Open your eyes. Oh jeez. On short horse, you have to wake up. Oh boy. <laughs> Fuck it. Ooh, the chest hair, jeez. Max, I was having the best dream. Well, welcome back to your worst nightmare. J inside of the dragon. Oh, oh Oy vey. <laughs> Not what I was expecting there. I thought we were going to get some potential scanlon back. And why did they have to do the butthole again? Jeez. Grog's still here in tow. Ah, oh, jeez. Not. I thought it was going to be Pike there for a sec. I am happy they mentioned Craghammer there. Because obviously that was something they didn't um, partake in when it came to the show versus the live stream. Um, for probably some obvious reasons. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Let's fly. Oh. Yo. 
Yo! Yo, that's epic! Yeah. Not with Grog there. Oh boy, trying to whip him off. Oh jeez, hold on, Grog. Oh boy, yep. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh man. This is kind of cool. Fight in the air. Oh jeez. Oh. Yes. He managed to get on him. Oh jeez. No, probably not the best idea. Yes. Oh man. Trying their best to get something down here. Wow. Grog really taking that strength to good use here. Wow. Who using the acid on him? Oh jeez. Not great, not great. Catch him. Oh, he gave himself a little bit of extra strength at the end there, which is probably going to help him out. Oh, at least I hope. Oh, Keela, that's so cool. Oh, man. Oh, that's really crunchy. Yep, he's still alive at least. Ooh. There you go. Yep, and there's a lot of acid in there. Yeah, not not wrong. Oh. Oh, shoving him through. Long way down. Yep, got it. Wow, they managed to get out. Wow, that's nice fist. There. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's not good. Oh boy, Scanlan getting knocked out is not good. Matron, I need you. Taking some help here. Oh, that's cool. Unlocking some new abilities, I see. I'm in your hands. And I am no longer afraid. Oh. <laughs> Yo, it's the Raven from the freaking title scene? Yo, this music! Yo! The freaking dark angel wings? That is so cool! I'm so in love with you right now. I mean, yeah, I can understand that. Oh, jeez. I mean, he's not doing too hot, is he? <laughs> what an epic shot! Yo! Vax becoming epic beyond belief. Ooh. You get fucking wings. <laughs> Leap of faith. Pike. Oh. Hey, I I got, got me. Huh. Thanks, Galen. Oh. Did we kill the dragon? Frank nope. Off. He's headed into that mountain. It must be his he lair. The odds aren't good. We did chase it out of West. <clears throat> Maybe that's enough. No. We threw its stomach and didn't even slow it down. That was your idea. And it failed. Right now is our best chance. Percy's ready. Yep, they're all going for it. Except for Scanlan. We're dead. I mean, Scanlan, I totally understand that. Oh, he's healing himself. Where is my Apologies, my king. And the other vestiges. Are on their way to us. Oh. The are bringing them here willingly. Yeah. Am I? Oh, wow. That's not good healing himself there. Once they're dead, we'll have all the vestiges we need. Eh, not great. How is Ripley going to get involved here? Alone? Are you sure, brother? Now is not the time for cowardice. Oh, all right. That's a little side eye there. Vax, wait. I. 
Come on. Don't. Remember, the safe word is Jenga. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Kiss. Kiss. Do something. Jeez. That was really cool. She called me a coward, too. Oh. I just... I don't want to let her down anymore. If you don't want to let her down anymore, then don't. Sounds easy. It's not. No, it's not. Nothing worth it ever is. Oh. Nothing worth it is ever easy. Ah. Uh, Jeez. That's an awful lair. Entirely acid. This is horrifying. How are they supposed to kill so of something like this? Even with the vestiges, it doesn't even seem like they're doing anything. What? What is it? Stop. Oh, now I'm... Yeah, now I'm pissed. How generous. Oh, not great. Not great. Oh boy, yes! All oh, those wings are so damn cool. Not great. Oh man, come on. Oh geez, is that blood from those wings? Does he actually sprout wings? That's not great. Well, at least they got something to help out with it, but this isn't good. Like it. I'll stay with Grog. We're splitting the party? Yeah, that's never a good idea. <laughs> Uh, it's not a great idea. They're not at full strength. Oh, man. He's getting beat to hell. Ooh, little raven. All right. Come on, guys. We got to do something here. Nice. Another vestige for my connection. Ah, oh, this thing needs to die. Oh, that sense right there is fantastic. Very helpful. Scanlan, come on, buddy. You can do this. Oh, that that is awful. Come on, get a good shot in. Oh, man, this is not going well at all. You need help. You're in his lair now. Oh, it's helpful, but it's not forever. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Everybody's going down. And she is on her own. Jeez, what a good shot. They are getting beaten to hell and back. God, I'm so stressed. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. They struggled while they were at full... Like a full party. Scanlan didn't really help much at all here. Oh, wow. Where is it going to? It's another part of the cave. How many times do I have to say this? We can't win. Uh, he makes an excellent point. Turn in time. Oh. Shit. Don't Not good. See. If the matron has shown me anything, it's that fate is real. Keyleth's people, Grog's herd. Wow. You think that was all chance? Screw your matron. She doesn't control my destiny. No, That's... Scanlan. You do. Yeah. And you can run from it. But you can rise to meet it. Ah. Uh... For all the wrong you've done in your life. You'd have to do a hell of a lot, right? Oh, man. Facts. I... Not good, not good, not good. Oh, but Scanlan's gonna have a hero moment, maybe? I don't know what he's gonna do, but... Ah, uh, yeah. Get something going here. That's good. That's a good hit. I mean, they're a lot higher level now than they were earlier, so... That is gonna help. Oh, jeez. Oh, that'll do some good. 
Oh, but that's not going to be great. But what is Scanlan going to do here? Is the question. Oh, what a shot. That's good, at least. What is he doing? Oh, jeez. He's making all the rocks in the place explode? Not great. This is very one-sided. Ooh! Pike! Oh, jeez. Look at you. Hardly a snack. Hardly a snack. Oh, Grog is here now! Wow. Fuck bucket. Fuck bucket. <laughs> nice. Distracted them long enough for him. Oh, come on. Enough with the invisibility. Oh, no. Yes! All right. God, they're in rough shape. We need to make something happen here. I don't know what, though. One thing I learned in this life. No one comes back to save you. So what are you prepared to do? Oh, come on, Scanlan. You got to do something. Come on, Scan. Screw that. Screw that. What is he doing? No, come on. Come on, Scanlan. You got to do something. Oh, come on. How is he holding him? Oh, man. Oh, not great. Not great. And he took the vestiges off of him. At least if they're going to die, they're going to die together. Oh, my goodness. This is terrible. Oh. How are they getting out of this? So be it. I owe you my thanks. Ah, come on. Come on, Scanlan. What are you going to do, buddy? Oh, no. They're accepting it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. This one's mine. Yes! Yo! Yes, Scanlan, come on! <gasps> Yo, Scanlan! <laughs> yes! Yo, did the blade sing when he used it? Did it just blow a hole through his head? Ripley's gone. Holy shit, he did! He blew his head off with that thing. That was awesome. Wait, we're Scanlan. Oh man, this is so stressful. Oh, she doesn't have anything in her. Oh. Scanlan. Come on, no. No, 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 no. Oh. Wait, you're alive, motherfucker? Oh. Uh. Oops. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness, you can't do that to me. Uh, what's that glow? That's a whole lot of gold. Wow. Whoa. Oh, geez, Scanlan, you're making me cry. Oh, Thank, me. finally. Oh. Uh. Ooh, floating key. What might that be for? Oh, moment of acceptance. Wow. Oh, toying with my emotions. Whitestone, it's invincible. Took out one with a lot of effort. I almost did. But then I realized, even if I don't believe in that matron stuff, you do. And I believe in you. Oh. <laughs> I love all of them, and if any of them die, I will not be okay. Destiny. Destiny's a bit of an asshole, really. 
Wow. But some of us, a lucky few, can seize control Aww. of destiny and bend it toward the good. Well, they're all and back and run them. The just. So to honor their sacrifice, dedication, and goddamn stubbornness, <laughs> I raise a glass. Cassandra. Machina. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> we have a bit of a moment here. Three to go. Before I continue, hear my words. Think before you act. Understand that not all is as it seems. She's taking Yenin's form. She's a dress. Shit. Sean. Sean, what? No. A member of the Chroma Conclave. Right, Sean. No. What have you done to them? Please. <laughs> Oh, not great. Mind your manners. Don't worry about your sleeping friends. They needed the rest. They weren't killed. I come to you as an ally. To stop Thordak, you'll need more than those vestiges. What? You'll need help. I could have slain you all the moment you entered this chamber. That's fair. You know me when I say. I hate Thordak as much as you. What? On. This is Thordak interesting. Is becoming irrational, insane. He is intent on stripping Teldori of its gold for another purpose. What purpose? What? Yeah, what purpose? What is he attempting to do here? Jeez. Come on, not looking great. What news do you bring? Yeah, Umbrasil. Umbrasil has been felled by the vestige bearers, my king. Yeah. It won't be long before they come for us. A new army awaits. An army that will soon what? inherit this world and bring glory to the Chroma Conclave. Love the show and I hate it all at the same time. Crap. <laughs> uh... So, we just finished watching the final episode of season two of Vox Machina, and as always, leaving it off on quite the insane cliffhanger here, but. This episode was dedicated mostly to, I I would say, just slaying here, <laughs> trying to take down Umbrasil. And wow, this this fight seemed way more brutal than their first big dragon fight inside of a dragon's lair, I might add. And this one definitely felt like there was going to be some more serious consequences. And honestly, there was about to be if it hadn't been for Scanlan. And I really do think that, you know, while it wasn't a Scanlan backstory episode, it was definitely a Scanlan episode showing that, like, you know, he is somebody who is usually the one to tuck and run. And this time around, he didn't. That's not who Scanlan is, but that's who Scanlan became and who he is trying to no longer be. And that right there is, I'd say, such a fundamental part of Scanlan. He is somebody who does very much care what other people think of him. And even more so when it comes to those who matter most to him. And obviously Kaylee became a very important part very quickly. And as such, like her words were probably worse than any weapon that could have been used against him. And that right there is the difference maker here. I honestly think that like the, the way that they did the story here, if Kaylee had not encountered Scanlan, they would not have succeeded there. Once again, kind of tying together, like, you know, you choose your own destiny, you choose your own path, but you have to embrace it. Whatever you do, like your, your fate isn't set in stone. You have to follow the path, whatever it is that you decide to do. And as such, 
we get to see a new side of Scanlan. Dragon Slayer. <laughs> That's not going to give him a big head or anything. This fight was insanely epic and so stressful, as you probably saw me very much glued to the screen the entire time, because it really did truly feel like nothing that they could do would make any difference. And I already knew that as soon as they split the party, it wasn't going to go well. Because not having Pike in there, not having Grog in there, their healer and their tank. Something's going wrong. And obviously that was in fact the case here, although it was helped by the absolutely insanely epic wings that we see um, sprout from Vax's vestige here. That was so cool. Basically like raven wings, I would say, but it made him look almost like a dark angel, which is even more cool. And I love the little comment that Keyleth makes like, wow, Vax, you're beautiful. Like, I, I mean, I would personally love to be called beautiful. That's, <laughs> that's a, that's one of the best compliments you could possibly get right there. Like, she's like, wow, I'm in like awe of you. And like, listen, can you guys, can the two of you please, please stop giving us the run around. Like you, both of you have tried to make a move at the wrong times. You need to, uh, you need to just go for it. Just make it happen. Uh, but that fight scene with everybody basically just trying to like stay alive like there was very little where it felt like a kill shot was about to be made it was mostly just like i need to get out of the way of this i need to take care of business here because there's no way that it's going to actually like succeed here the entire time they're going in there they're already expecting to fail well, that they're gonna try anyway and that right there was probably why it wasn't going so well like they expected to fail and if you expect to fail then you do fail and Vax kind of ex uh, kept that in mind the entire time like he didn't care if he failed all that mattered to him is that he tries he's not going to fear death he is going to make sure that it is something that he willingly goes into. No matter what takes him out of this world, he is not going to fear it any longer. And that right there is why he's worthy to wear that armor at this point and why he's able to unlock some of the further abilities that he has here. And this is where I get to Scanlan. Now, what a perfect weapon for him to use. The Blade of Myths. Uh, Myth Carver was the name and you know tied to all the stories and myths and legends of the world and he just made his own by using it and the absolute like fantastic kill shot that he manages to make against Umbrasil directly into his eye like how insanely epic that was it was so cool and just like triggering it and like almost as if like he is the one who it's is meant to wield the blade it wasn't umbrasil it was stolen and as such like that kill shot right there was very much something that i, I almost want to say like the sword wanted it to happen in a sense which makes it even better and it really just shows like you know that scene with Scanlan talking with Vax and how Vax's comments really got the better of him for a bit and Scanlan saying like you you know you believe in the matron of ravens you know I might not be a, a religious type of guy here but I believe in you and that's a good enough for me and so I love like Scanlan kind of finding his acceptance and like he wants to tell stories of being the hero but he never is there to actually fully accept what that responsibility means and I love the fact that this kind of gives him his moment in the spotlight, gives him his moment to shine. And so uh, the last things that I kind of want to talk about here. Involves the surprise appearance 
of another dragon at Whitestone, kind of sowing the seeds for what is going to happen next. Uh, Raishan. Taking the taking over Keeper Yenin for a moment, knocking out the others and making sure it was only Vox Machina listening. Having her as an ally is kind of strange to me. Like, I, I do think double agenda dragons are not stupid. They're very smart. And, you know, she probably thinks like, all right, this dude is losing his mind. And it looks like Thordak is using all of this gold. He is amassed to create an army of his own. And that's an army of, it looks like army of dragons, if I had to guess. And so something tells me that next season, we're potentially going to see some more vestiges. I don't know if that'll actually be the case or not. Um, we may see a little bit of, um, I really hope we get more Scanlan backstory. I would love, love, love to see that because I keep on being told of his backstory, not in specifics, because I don't want to know that just yet, but I do know that it is very depressing and something tells me that it's going to come up in the most heartbreaking of ways. Um, I don't really know. I, I think season three might be the season of Scanlan in a sense after seeing what happens here because obviously season one was all about percy and season two was kind of a combination effort between all the different characters and i feel like the the one we got the least from in terms of overall focus was probably scanlan in a sense uh with his backstory and so i get the feeling like they're gonna definitely uh play a focus on that um if there's you know only two seasons that they're going to use for the chroma conclave then they're going to have to face off against the other dragons um i have no idea what they're going to end up um doing here with some of these uh with with the ice dragon i have no idea what's going to happen with them because really the big baddie here is thordak and i don't know like is the ice dragon going to be a, a threat as well is he is is he going to back down um, from taking on Vox Machina, and they're all gonna have to try and fight Thordak. Is Thordak trying, like, I get the feeling like Thordak's trying to ascend to, like, godhood, in a sense? And if that's the case, that makes it even worse, and, you know, having an army of his own, like, dragons, in a sense, like, probably not gonna go well at all. Um, even if they are dragon wormlings, those are still a, a, a bitch and a half to fight. All I can say is that this season has been incredible, like just as good, if not better than season one. Definitely going to take some time to digest as well. I'm going to get all caught up on the live stream and mainly because of the fact that I am going to be having a Vox Machina size hole in my heart for at least the next year and I will be looking for a lot of things here um i know that they're coming out with a new series uh, i'm gonna be posting a reaction to uh the trailer for that um i need to i need to watch i've been saving so many things so that i can get through all of this and so um definitely gonna be looking into that for sure love to know some of your guys' thoughts on the matter because that right there did wrap up a couple of different things like umbersil was definitely one of the main baddies in this season and we're going to see, like, Thordak really be um, even worse for them in the coming season here. Really curious to see how they do it here. I don't, like, none of these characters, I feel, have plot armor in the slightest. I, I really do get the feeling like next season we're seeing at least one death. It's going to be heartbreaking. It's probably going to be towards the end of the season. And then maybe we see another season. I think there were rumors that there was also going to be a season four with another baddie. Um, don't know much about that. Um, I, I can only assume it'd be something involving uh, the end of season one because we never got a wrap up to the whispered one and the orb. It was kind of left um, for speculation. Um, we might see a little bit of that next season. I don't know. That might be something to save for season four. And I wonder how many seasons they're actually going to have of this. I know that they have confirmed three seasons. I think there's rumors of a fourth season. Honestly, I love every bit of this. And I look forward to the next part. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Any of your theories on the matter. Anything I might have missed. 
And make sure to, uh, to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you so much for your support throughout this entire series. And with that in mind, class, you are officially dismissed. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Mm -hmm.